Command Prompt is a powerful command line interface that allows you to navigate the file system, open programs or files, compile code, and many other things without having to use a GUI or a graphical user interface. To open a command prompt, all you have to do is search for CMD from the Windows search. When you open that up, you'll get a black screen. And by default, the default directory will be C colon backslash users backslash your user profile. Something basic you can do is type in notepad.exe and this will open up the Windows Notepad. You can do this with any other Windows app installed by default. You can also change directory by going cd and then the name of the directory. Directory is another word for folder. So if we go cd videos, it will go to the videos folder. I can also go cd dot dot to go back a folder, to go up the directory. So go cd dot dot again. Let's go all the way to the root, c colon. And then I can also enter the full path. So if I go cd c colon users, noah s, videos, and then captures, I can go directly to this folder without having to go cd folder name every time. What I can also do is press cls, press enter, and this will clear the output to clean things up. And then if I want, I can press the up arrow key to go back to the last command that you entered. You can go up as far as you want, and then down will get you a more recent command that you entered. To change drives, all you have to do is press, type in the drive letter, for example, D colon. Now we're on the D drive, type in CD computer programming. Then if I go DIR is another command which lists out all the files and folders in this directory. So the first column is the last modified date time. This second column is indicates whether it's a directory or it's a file. So blank will be a file. And then the next column is the size of the file. And then the last column is the name of the folder or file. And if we open up File Explorer, which is the graphical interface, we can see the exact same folder and file names right here. It all depends on which you prefer, whether you find it faster using command line or a graphical interface. Last thing I'm going to do is if I go CD Mario, then DIR, I can see a file called Mario.jpg. I type it in, it will open that file using the default app. In this case, it's just Windows Photos.